Well, welcome, friends, and happy Saturday sewing. Thank you for coming and joining me. We are going to be finishing, or I am going to be finishing, the Grandma's Scrap Quilt. You will see here on my table, and I know you're far back, but I did that so y'all could see this. I have four, you may not be able to tell it, but I have four sets of rows of two. I'm going to show you what I have done so far on my grandma's scrap quilt. Um, I have currently five rows and I'm looking over here because I have my design wall put up. I do need to do some tweaking. I actually think I'm going to have my husband build a frame and we're going to staple this on it with some uh, foam behind it where to fold up and we can open it back out that way I can use my pens I am unable to use my pens right now on it I'm using clips and clipping it on the sides so one second and I will show you my design wall okay here you will be able to see part of my room you never see uh, that is my design wall that's how I have my quilt hanging right now but I will be adding on to the bottom of it as soon as I get my four sets of two completed. Okay, so back at my sewing machine here. If you noticed and saw that bookshelf to the left of that, that is full of fabric also, as well as this bookshelf behind me. Um, I have lots of fabric. <laughs> so what I am going to do, and I actually have these laid in the order that I need to sew them to start expanding downward on my quilt. Now, I am going to give you a pointer here. On these strips that have the nine patches, you have a strip that has three nine patches and you have a strip that has two nine patches. Please make sure when assembling your quilt that you're using the correct row. I did not on one of mine and had to um, rip it out. And I wasn't recording at that time, so that's why y'all did not see it. It's, it was just my normal sewing, and that's just what happened. And that happens occasionally more frequently than I like to admit, but it happens. So what I'm doing is just going ahead and sewing my rows of, my two rows together. And I'm going to do all four that I have left. And I may then press them separately, I think. Uh, I'm not going to press them individually. You know, like, and when I say individually, I'm not stacking them all up and pressing them. But I'm going to wait until I get all four of my row sets sewn. And then I will press them. Because I do want my pressing to go a particular direction. And that is so, I may put a border on this. I have not decided. Um, that's all up in the air right now. And I keep looking over here at my design wall. And I'm sorry, but y'all will have to see that. Unfortunately, me looking off. But I'm looking at my design wall. And the colors, no rhyme or reason on the colors. I'm just sewing my rows together. This is going to be a completely scrappy quilt. And if you are doing it, I'm hoping to get some photos uploaded into the Facebook group. Hopefully this evening. Um, if I don't... Now, you, you won't be seeing this video until Saturday. I am pre-recording it. But you will... Uh, have update updated photos in the post for the grandma's scrap quilt uh, this evening that is my goal anyway and 
and I have a few errands to run today. It is Friday. This is when I catch, my, try to catch up on most of my sewing. But I also have to catch up on all my errands today. I did do a run earlier to my local Goodwill trying to see maybe if they had any goods there that I may want to look at. I didn't see anything. I think I'm going to go to a Goodwill that is out of town because our local Goodwill, it's awful. They don't have a craft section. They have stuff just thrown on shelves. They're awful. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to any of it. They have all the books in one area, you know, and then I like to look at glassware and stuff too, but that's all just pick through. Um, and I, you know, it's like, I know Goodwill is kind of like, thr it is thrifting. And I know a lot of people thrift, but ours our goodwill is just a lot of junk really it's what it is and see i i thought that goodwills actually ship stuff to other goodwills you know like maybe there's a main place that they ship but i don't know because if they do they really aren't sending our area anything and if they're relying on donations from locally you're not going to have too many people that donate but I ha do have one that is out of town that I would really like to go to and it'll take me about two hours to get to it so that sounds like maybe a Saturday trip for me and my sister maybe I don't know we may do it. We may not. I just wanted to see if my local Goodwill had any type of craft or quilting stuff. And they don't. Although they did have a... Uh, what I can't remember the name of it. It's like the big mixer that sits on your your... Your countertop, they did have one of those, I think, for like $15. And there was, but there was, I didn't look at it because there was a lady that had already grabbed it and was uh, testing it, testing the power out on it. I have one, so it's not a Cuisinart. Uh, I can't remember what kind it is. Okay, since I got that one done, I'm just leaving it on my machine. And I'm going to my next row. This way I will know which one is which. And I won't have to worry about mixing it up. But I am hoping I can get all of my, my rows completed today. You know, all of them sewn together and then sewn to that main panel that I have hanging on my design wall. If I can get those done, that will be really nice. And I'm, I'm going to just... Forewarn, I'm sorry if I keep looking up at my phone, but anytime I see any kind of message come up, I will be checking my phone because my grandbaby is teething. He, I did carry him to the doctor uh, yesterday. His, his mama was working, and she works at the doctor's office, so I carried him on in. To the doctor i went and picked him up i left work early and went and picked him up and they ran um they ran strip they ran rsv and he's he don't have that he has congestion which his doctor did say is probably just because of all the weather changes which 
it very likely is and but he is having a very hard time sleeping eating now i got him to eat fine yesterday evening but i take my time with him and i i don't give him a bottle i feed him purees right out of i get fix him a bowl with his cereal and his puree now i tried him on a different puree yesterday i didn't even ask his mom i just did it but i know how he likes food she knows how he likes food and she knows i watch for any kind of reaction to anything they eat because my children do have allergies so he doesn't get things like eggs or peanut butter nothing like that because we don't want to uh start an allergy early on but he he ate the now i buy organic when i buy him food um i actually have baby food here for both of them but my oldest grandbaby she don't eat baby food at all she eats strictly off the table but i buy like the pouches the organic pouches with like chicken I, the one he ate yesterday was chicken with peas and carrots and he really liked that but he's gonna be a hefty little boy now i mean he's built like his daddy his daddy is is built on the thick side and when i say thick side i do not mean fat because his daddy is not fat his daddy is just a he has a wide stature he's he's built like that and you know so that's that's how he's built he's going to be a little chunk he he is within his weight range but he is like solid and my little green baby girl she's so petite she's just a little girl she's so petite and but she likes her food too and my grandson he learned what a french fry was uh tuesday night my daughter gave him the insides of a french fry when we went and ate he he would not take his bottle he did not want to eat what he normally eats where we went to eat and she had gotten fries with what she got and so she just started mashing them with her fingers and was giving him taste and he was eating it up he liked it but she said his other his other papa um gives him mashed potatoes so he he's had potatoes but i worry about potatoes because you know we have diabetes that runs in our family and we just don't want to start him out wrong But, you know, some potatoes every now and then ain't going to hurt him. I just don't want him to grow up thinking that you had to have potatoes every meal. That's all I ate growing up was potatoes. But I was a very picky eater. I didn't eat anything. That quickly remedied itself. Now I'll eat everything. So here we go putting getting our third row sewn together and guys this may just be a quick video we may not have an hour long video here but i am going to press these before i assemble them to the main piece because i don't want to have a lot of seams that i'm having to press uh once it's on that big panel and i may even put these together and then 
put two and two and then put yeah I may put these together and then just have the two pieces going together that would probably be a lot easier and y'all I was thinking as I was pressing this and I hung it up there I'm wondering if I did this as blocks instead of rows, do the um, the block... Now, they're all blocks, but I'm just thinking that... Like, have our half-square triangles all just be two colors. And then have our... Like squares be one color. Now it could be one color in different designs, but have them just one color. That may be something I try in the future, but not right now. I have too many quilts already on my table. I have this, I have the disappearing four patch, I have um the Jelly Roll, National Sewer Jelly Roll Day coming up. So I'll have that one on my table because I don't for a second believe that I will finish that quilt on the live. It is going to be Saturday the 21st at 9 a.m. Central Time, I believe. I believe that's the time that I will be going live with Donnell. And I don't believe I'll be finishing my my jelly roll quilt on that live. Now, I am going to try to get some things done on it beforehand. And I will have y'all a jelly roll quilt that day. Uh, I may move my time up by an hour so my video doesn't release the same time I'm live with Donnell because normally my videos release 9 a.m. on Saturdays but since I'm going to be live with Donnell at that same time I don't want to do that I'll release it an hour earlier But I have, I'm trying to think here, I have the two sew-alongs and I have another sew-along that is already in the works. I haven't done my test block yet, so that's why y'all haven't seen anything about it yet. But I will do a test block and... Um, probably most of the time if I do a test block I already know that something I want to do as a quilt um, but sometimes I just like trying like block of the months uh, I may start doing on tester Tuesday I may start doing some of the creative notion blocks you know once I have all my sew alongs going Okay, now we have our very last row here that we need to sew.
But y'all yeah, just stay tuned to the channel because I have um, lots of new quilts that I have in my my little bins right here. I have new quilts. I do have a floss tube that will be coming out uh, next week sometime. I'm waiting for one more thing to come in so I can show it to you guys. Um, with my cross stitching, I am going to try something different. I tried it a, a while back, like years ago. And at that time, it didn't work real well for me. But I think now that I have a lot of projects that I keep with me, it may work better now. Um, better than it, it would have before. But y'all stay tuned for that. I do have... Um, some fall items that I'm about to be working on. I'm excited to do some fall items. You know, I do Christmas all year round. So that that's just a given. You know, I, I quilt Christmas fabric. I cross-stitch Christmas patterns. I think I've been doing my grandbabies stocking all year. And... I got a little more done on it. It it still has a lot, but I, I did run out of a thread, and I ha that's one of the things I'm waiting to come in is that thread. Um, I mainly use like DMC thread, and that's real simple and easy to get. But I will tell you, my local Michaels, their DMC section is a honking mess. It is a disaster. And, I mean, we've told them. I've told them multiple times. I've even told the store manager. They really need to have someone focus on that area to, you know, check it every night to make sure things appear to be in order. Because, like me, I will never go back to Michael's to look for threads. Ever. I just order them online because I don't have to go through the mess to find the thread I'm needing online. And I'm sure between all the um, cross-stitching sites I go to, and I could tell you the ones I go to, I go to the Silver Needle in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I go to Colorado Cross Stitcher. I go to 123 Stitch. I go to Fat Quarter Shop. I go to the Stitchery. Um, out of all of those cross stitch sites, I'm sure I can find the thread I'm looking for. Now, granted, if that's all I buy there, I've just paid a lot of money for a skein of thread because you have to pay shipping and all that you know separately yeah I ended up using some quilting pans to pay, hold my my pieces together here because I you know I did four of them and these are those wonder pan you probably can't see it. It's that Wonder Pen. It's the purple top with the, the two prongs. I really don't like these pens. But of course, I'm not using them for what they're made for. But I don't really care for them. I don't like having that double needle or double pen there. And I want to thank everyone for all the thoughts, prayers, well wishes during the um, Hurricane Francine. Um, our area did not get hit at all. 
we only got rain and just a little bit of wind not even enough to blow the the garbage cans over but i did have my garbage cans kind of put in an area where it wouldn't uh blow them over but with that being said we got rain but not the amount of rain that we were expecting it's probably we're probably going to have a little more rain today um it drizzled off and on all day yesterday it has been very overcast but overall um we fared very well with it no nothing of major impact now i can't say so much for down south but i did watch um some of my people from down south that i i watch and they were all saying that you know they did good and i i watched some of the videos from where it came landfall and what was that deluca deluche something like that in in louisiana it was down south and y'all those winds were something else but as far as i know i have not seen any reports of anything bad just lots of rain power outages trees down um things like that but nothing bad all of that can be recovered from okay so these are my bottom two so this is my very bottom one And I've got my little ironing station here. My little Aliso is already set up, ready to start pressing. So I'm going to press this real quick and I'll be right back. Now I have the next two set of rows put together, pinned, and I'm going to just get to sewing these. So this is coming along. I do still need to press the other uh, two sets of rows so I can pin them and put them together but I wanted to go on and get this one sewn together no rhyme or reason of why I'm doing the things I do or the order I do them in it's just I'd rather sew than press so I thought well if I can press the these two out and then sew them together maybe that would make the pressing not so you know such a task pressing is a task and i don't like doing that but it does have to be done and i have realized pressing it when it's smaller is a lot easier than pressing it when it's larger So even when I have um, individual squares that I need to be putting together, I may start pressing them as I'm sewing them. And I know that re sounds ridiculous. But for me, it's just so much easier to... It's easier for me to get it to be what it needs to be when it's smaller. It's easier for me to press it when it's smaller. Because, like my sewing space, my pressing space is small too. I think I've shown y'all my little pressing table that I use. It's just an old metal typewriter table is actually what it is. It's a vintage typewriter table. I found it at an estate sale. And before I started quilting... It, um, trying to think, it, well, it did hold some sewing stuff on it, but I wasn't quilting yet. But I love this vintage table because it's the perfect size to hold, um, 
things underneath it as well and it has the two sides that flip up and if I'm not using it I can always flip those down I currently have my wool mats on them because I messed up and put my wool mat on my um, cutting mat don't do that because the wool mat does hold heat and pull heat all the way down in it and it will bubble your um, cutting mat now I did have a cut and press board and I still have it but I don't really use it in my sewing room a lot but it did not the heat did not go all the way through it so I actually cut and pressed on that for a good while and so I always had that on my cutting mat I didn't realize that that would happen because it didn't happen with the cutting press but a wool mat it does happen don't put a wool mat on your cutting mat well a this is a Fiskars self-healing cutting mat don't put it on one of those I don't know about other cutting mats I only know about the one I have I am almost done with these two rows. I may press these two out and now I'm going to press the other two and so I can attach the, those two together and then I will press this one open and press the other one open and we will attach them together. I don't know I'm hoping we're at oh we're almost at an hour now Ooh. but I know a lot of that was pressing so I'm not gonna bring you along for all the pressing but right now we are just assembling the grandma scrap quilt and I do really like this and if you come back tomorrow and say, I will be working on the disappearing four patch. Now that is one that I really, really love. I have bought some charm squares um, for that actually, because I just really love that. I love that pattern. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is lay this over here to the side right here I'm going to press my other two sets of row sets my other two row sets I'm going to press those I'm going to pin those and then we're going to sew those and then we will press both of these completed four row sets and um, then put them together so I'll be right back all right so here we go doing our last row sets here so once we have this done we will attach this row and this set and this set together and once they're attached we will then um, well we'll press but then we will attach them to the main uh, board over here design wall quilt and we will be done with the top i don't know if this is something i will carry to the long armors or if it's something i will do myself just not decided yet now that i have those big clips i may be able to do this one myself but just not real sure when i get a quilt top completed that's when i have to decide i have to look at it and decide what i'm going to do with it how i'm going to do with it and this one here i can kind of see a, a stitch in the ditch that i could do 
that I think would be great. And I think I have some 108 on my shelf right now that I could probably use. Because I'm not going to do a special back for this or anything. Um, not going to do matching fabric or anything. If I have some 108, I may just... Um, I think I have some gray and some cream 108. And I could attach, you know, I could do the gray on the, I could do either color. I could do gray or cream. So I think the cream is probably closer to a brown. But this would be more like a good sized um, play quilt for my grandbabies. Or just a comfy quilt to have laying over the couch. We don't really, well, my husband and I don't, but I do. We don't really kind of snuggle on the couch or anything with a quilt because both of us is always working. We don't really have a movie night, which talking about that kind of makes me want a movie night tonight. You know, and enjoy me a good movie with the temps cut down really low in the house. Throw a quilt on the, the couch. Kind of lay back on the couch and watch movies. I haven't done that in a really long time. That's just a relaxing evening, and I haven't done that in a very long time. But I so appreciate y'all joining me. Uh, sewing is fun to not sew by yourself. And even though I can't see you, I know you guys are over there on the other side. And uh, I can't talk to you right now, but I can, I can talk to you. You may not be able to respond and answer questions, but I can talk. <laughs> and you can always put your questions in the comment section for me if you have any. Or you can email them to me. I'm more than happy uh, to respond via comment or email. And if ever there's anything I use in a video that you want more information about, if it's a product, I always have a link down in the description for everything that I use. Um, it goes to Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. And all that does is gives me a very small commission if you ever purchase anything through that. One of the links that I have... Um, it's not a lot. It really is not a lot. But it does help me out just a little bit. And it helps you out because that way you have a direct link to a product. If you're interested in just seeing what it is, what it does. A lot of products do have videos um, on their link. Like if you go through the link and go view the product, a lot of them do have a video as one of the images. So you could see how it works, um, things like that. But yeah, if you're ever interested in anything that I use, feel free to click that link just to uh, get more information about it. Not necessary that you have to buy anything, but you can see the product and you can you can uh, get information on it. Now to assembling the last two sets of rows together. And once I get these rows together, I will be pressing them and attaching them to the larger piece but actually this is going to be the larger piece as opposed to the one on the wall because this one is going to have eight rows on it and the one on the wall only has five but this will be the end of our grandma scrap quilt so guys congratulations if you've been following along with me and 
making your quilt with me. I'm sure several of you have as little amount of sewing time as I have. And just try to get as much in as possible when you can. But we will have another quilt done. So smashing our stash in 2024. Uh, this is the second quilt completed. Doing the smash the stash. Now I know I did I did tell y'all earlier that um, several months ago, not earlier in the video, that I'm only buying if I know I can complete a project with it. I'm trying to not add to my stash. I am trying to decrease my stash. But if I don't decrease it, it's still okay. Because I will eventually use all of this fabric for something. It may be added in a giveaway. It may be done in a smash the stash. Maybe I need to do a smash the stash subscription style. Because I have quite a few projects in my subscription boxes that need to be done. And a subscription box is part of my stash. So may I may do that too. I may be do what's called smashing the subscription boxes. Who knows? Who knows what I'll call it? But I my plan is to start knocking out some of the subscription box projects. Uh, if you notice last week, I have been working on my Creative Notions box that I got. I have worked all but one project out of the box. And hopefully y'all will be seeing that later on in the week. I haven't cut the fabric yet. I really need to sit down and read the pattern a lot better uh, to see if I can, if I have everything to do it. If all of, I believe all of the fabric is included in that subscription box to do a quilt top. And if it is, I can cut the fabric out and uh, work on that top. And it's also because Creative Notions is having a birthday. Um, this is like a birthday giveaway for them. They have two things they're giving away. Uh, the first thing is like a trolley cart. I have a trolley cart because when I purchased my Bernina, uh, instead of getting the desk, I think I got the trolley instead or the embroidery thing instead. I got one or the other, but they had a desk, and, and now I'm thinking I might should have got that desk because on the desk, your machine sits flat down in it, and, and this area is flat. You wouldn't have that drop between here and the table, and that might would make it easier to sew. I don't know that. I guess that needs to be a goal of mine in the near future. Hopefully. But in order to do that, I would have to get this table out. And I have two desks over here. And I have a sewing table and another table over here. Well, I have a sewing cabinet that I have my... Um, Accu quilt sitting on and I could probably take that Accu quilt off of that and put it on the other table because I am downsizing all the crafting that I do which means I'm probably a I don't know that I want to get rid of my heat press because I really like it but I don't know I still like doing uh, vinyl and I have two grandbabies so you know, we may be doing Easter baskets. I can embroider those, though, if I need to. But 
I may be making Easter baskets, all kinds of things. I may make some Santa sacks for their gifts this year. So when they go home, they have a big bag to put all their, their Santa sack. They have a Santa sack to put all their gifts in. But, okay, so this is the last set of rows to assemble together to make a big piece. Now, I think this is folded in half. I am going to press this, and when I come back, I'm going to have the other panel here with me also, and we will put them together to have a completed quilt top. Okay, now we are on our home stretch, and... We are just going to get these two big panels put together now. Some of these seams are pretty thick in there and the uh, feed dogs aren't wanting to move them. I am so excited to have another quilt done, y'all. So this will be quilt number two from Smash Sash. I know I just said that, but just so exciting to have another quilt done. Because I do have a fall Halloween-ish kind of uh, quilt I want to do. It is September, so I may need to do my Halloween quilt first. But I do love fall colors. I love pumpkin things. Um, so hopefully I will be able to get some fall decor like that for my, my grandbabies. You know, it's amazing that before my grandbabies came, I had completely quit decorating my house. It just was what it was. And that was it. But now that I have grandbabies, I want to, you know, have the holidays on display for them. So, guys, I am done. That was my last stitch for my grandma's scrap quilt one second and i will pull my design board over behind me or i will turn you to where you can see my design board so one moment okay so technically not design board but you can see the completed quilt here and i already see where i messed up in two locations I put the two areas on incorrectly, <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm not changing it, so I'm not going to worry about it, but there you go. And guys, that is my grandma scrap quilt. We are done with that. The last, this session took me right at two hours to sew. It is done. I do see the error on it. I don't know how I would fix it other than taking it apart, and I don't know that I want to do that. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me and joining in the sew-along. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, I hope you have a very blessed day. Goodbye.